Good afternoon, everyone. I'm General Yuzutsu, Chief of Staff, Air Self Defense Force. Thank you very much for having me as a guest speaker for the Japan US Space Forum. Unfortunately, I was unable to attend it in person, but I'm very honored to have a wonderful opportunity to speak for you. I fully appreciate this forum's effort for contributing to a stronger basis for coordination of space policy and governance. In addition, I have a profound respect for its initiative for promoting various activities to establish professional contacts between the Japanese and American space industries and governments. Fourth of this month, General Raymond, the Chief of Space Operations, U.S. Space Force, visited Space Operation Group at Futu Air Base. General Raymond and Space Operation Group Commander Colonel Tamai discussed and shared our thoughts on space security environment, which is growing increasingly severe. And we reached the same idea that Japan-US alliance has been more important than never in the space domain at work, and we will further strengthen our cooperation. From the viewpoint that space is borderless and global, the most significant are two, multilateral cooperation based on Japan-US alliance and promoting public-private partnership for enhancing space capabilities. First of all, let me talk about our thoughts on space environment. Space is becoming more congested, contested, and complicated. Space-related activities are rapidly developing regardless of government or private sector. For instance, mega satellite constellations, anti-satellite tests by China and Russia, and the increasing number of rocket launches have been causing a sharp rise in number of space objects, including debris. Furthermore, it is pointed out that China and Russia have been developing anti-satellite weapons such as killer satellites and germans as diversified means of interference. As these activities are growing, the threats in space are expanding. Against such a backdrop, more countries position space as theater of warfare or operations. In addition, worldwide space business is expanding with increasing speed due to lower cost of space transportation, exploration, and resource development in cis lunar area and a new formation of space market such as space travel and migration. Under these circumstances, Koku Jetai just if newly established Space Operation Squadron or SOPS in May 2020, and next, established Space Operations Group or SOG in March this year. SOG achieved SSA operation system to gather, process, and share the SSA data. And now SOG is doing trial operation. During the trial operation, we are being provided with space information from JAXA and US forces. After the trial at Japan Fiscal Year 2023, we will start full-scale operation of SSA operation system. JASDIF plans to sequentially acquire electromagnetic jamming analyzer, satellite laser ranging system, and SDA satellites, thereby we will further strengthen our space capabilities while expanding our space units. However, Koku Jeta's effort alone is not enough to ensure the stable use of space. As General Raymond, 
stated during the 37th Space Symposium. We can achieve these goals with our allies and partners. I also believe cooperation with allied countries and our friendly nations is essential in space domain. With this belief, Koku Jetai willingly participates in multilateral exercises such as the Shuriba War Game and Global Sentinel to promote our cooperation with the US and friendly nations. Being committed to development of international norms, Japan will fulfill duty as responsible space actor and more eagerly contribute to peaceful use of space. As for public-private partnership, we have already established a close cooperation with JAXA by dispatching two justice personnel. And also, we are proactively seeking to cooperate with commercial satellite operators in Japan. Some countries are conducted illegal and irresponsible space activities. In order to respond to this, it is increasingly important to attain not only space social awareness, but also space domain awareness capabilities to have a grasp of who is behind them or who has such intention and capabilities. To do this, establishing cooperation structure, especially information sharing structure with the US and friendly nations is an urgent issue for justice. So we need to put a lot of effort for making the rules necessary for space operational units and for establishing command and control and operational procedures. Furthermore, it is critical to look for talented people for space and carry out human resource development, including private sectors. Looking behind our immediate future, SSA might evolve into civilian space traffic management service as commercial space activities are growing at an amazing rate and actually the number of commercial SSA service is increasing. In the visible future, probably within a decade, we will also need to pay attention to Lagrangian points and cis lunar area. As you explore and develop the moon on a large scale, you would be required to transport a large amount of stuff and equipment. These activities will make Lagrangian points and cis lunar area more strategically significant. If so, what kind of rules or arrangements would be required? All of us need to prepare the answer to these questions. Let me wrap up my speech. Under such severe security environment, we have to cooperate among countries sharing the same values. In particular, to establish such cooperation structure among partner countries, I believe it is critical to strengthen multilateral cooperation, especially Japan, the US alliance, and public-private partnership. On top of that, your understanding and cooperation are essential to achieve our goals. I heard that you all are heading to Fuchu after lunch to visit Space Operations Group. I would be grateful if you could encourage our space members who work toward future. Koku Jietai is prepared to achieve the space capabilities needed to ensure the stability of Japan and the international community. So again, I kindly ask for your continued understanding and support to Koku Jietai. I would like to conclude my speech 
by wishing for the success of the Japan-US space forum. Thank you for listening.